Todd Palin in his first interview since Governor Palin was tapped to be Senator McCain's running mate. We met the first dude at his and Governor Palin's house on the edge of Lake Lucille in Wasilla, Alaska. You will see this nowhere else. Okay, help me out. Um, I don't know what to call you. It could be Mr. Palin, Todd, Mr. Todd, uh, First Dude, or Mr. First Dude. I tend to be respectful, but even Mr. First Dude sounds a little funny. A lot of the folks in Alaska like First Dude, but Todd's fine, and my real close buddies have all kinds of names for me, so you really can't rub me the wrong way. Thank you. If your wife um, and Senator McCain win in November, we got a second problem, is because then... Uh, I mean, you're going to be like second dude, or I mean, have you thought about that at all? What are we going to do not, about that? Not really. I'm, I'm very easy. So. You're very easy? All right. Okay. Well, um, I should tell you that every place we've been in Alaska, and it's whenever I say, hey, do you know the first dude? They all start laughing. Do you know that? No, they I love know you that. here. They love you here. Come. Come. So that must be fun for you. It is fun for me. I mean, it's, it's fun to. Uh, I travel the state, you know, my, my role as first spouse of the governor, I've, I've taken on vocational training, so I've got to travel around Alaska, some of the remote villages and training facilities, so it's been fun. I take it that uh, you, you like where you live. Look at this spectacular view. How long have you lived here? About six years, and uh, we're very fortunate to be here, uh, and it is nice for the kids in the summertime. It's a big playground in the wintertime, about five months out of the year. It's a, it's a big playground as well where we snow machine and, and uh, ice skate on the lake. So this freezes over in the winter? Yes, it does. Um, and you don't, you don't go out and fish here, though, because you're a professional or a commercial fisherman? Uh, once in a while we we'll go out and fish, but we have fished here, but I am a uh, commercial fisherman since about nine years old. How long have you lived here? In Alaska? Or no, no, I know you lived here, but I mean at this particular property. About six years. Um, this is obviously your home. Um, you built it? Myself and, and some buddies that were contractors uh, helped me put it together, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I couldn't help but uh, see right over here. Let, let me go over here. Um, your mode of transportation that's sitting here. Not, not the little boat, uh, but this plane. Um, your pilot? I'm a pilot. Uh, what kind of plane is this? This is a 1958 Piper PA-18 Super Cub. How long have you had it? Uh, it's been in the family for probably 20 years, 20 plus years. So. How often do you fly this? Uh, not as much as I'd like. So it just comes down to uh, priorities: kids, work, wife schedule. So. Can, you, do you take? Does the governor fly this? Uh, I've taken her one time, I think, in the Cubs. So. But she doesn't. She's not a pilot herself, or is she? No, she's not a pilot. So, um, pretty exciting news in the family. It's been uh, quite the experience the last couple of weeks. What's it been like? Uh, it's been great. I mean, you know, the first uh, week, Ohio meeting the McCains again and, and just being involved in their team, it's been an incredible experience. All right, take me back to when you, when you first heard that there was a possibility that Senator McCain wanted to talk to you. I mean, what did you do, call you up and say, hey, I guess she doesn't call you first dude, does she? No. Never, maybe, maybe she does, but what, what happened? I was at work on the slope working night shift, and I think it was um, on a Saturday. I worked Thursday to Thursday, so I'd been on the slope for a couple of days, and uh, there were some inquiries from certain people about uh, some of our background. And so, you know, the, the more inquiries, more inquiries, and we didn't know if she was on a short list or, you know, if this was going to be for show. And so I came off the slope early to take care of the kids while she went outside uh, for that day. Um, okay, that was when about two or three weeks ago. Yeah. But did you ever did you think like back in April have you gotten wind of the fact that it was a possibility that she might even be on? I mean that that this might be something that happened to your family. There's always been that possibility in the back of my mind. You know, there's some uh, websites out there that have been pushing her pretty hard, and so I've uh, been instrumental on on uh, the final decision. I think. Well, that must have been pretty unusual. I mean, like you know, I mean, all of a sudden one day. I mean, for any any candidate to to find out that he or she might be tapped for this. You know, uh, for me, it wasn't a huge surprise. You know, I'm just uh, glad that they tapped into her, and I think uh, Americans are, are, are seeing what she's about. And so, it, to me, it's just not a big shock. I knew that she was destined for higher positions, maybe not as soon, but that's just the way she is. Take me back to the first time you met her. How old were you? I was uh, 17. What do you think when you first saw her? Um, very attractive. You know, an athlete, I think we were at the, in the gym. So it was our senior year in Wasilla, and I came from a smaller community. 
and uh, I was a basketball star from that smaller community and it's hard for a small time a smaller community athlete to come into a bigger school and, and to be really involved and so I saw a basketball court and uh, we share a lot of things in common sports you know recreation outside well how do you get her to talk to you I mean there must have been I mean there's Someone had to pick up somebody, you know, at this. I mean, someone had to, like, start this. How do you start this? Well, you know, usually a, a group event, you know, come on over, let's watch a movie somewhere with, with other friends. So being the new kid on the block, I was invited to a couple different events, and that's how we really met, you know, from school to that.